In this video, we're going to look at an important property of lines that is called the slope. The slope is simply going to be a measure of the steepness of the line. How steep is the line and what direction does it go? And the way we calculate the steepness is we look at a fraction that calculates the rise and puts it over the run. Or maybe another way to think about it is how far up the graph goes compared to how far over the graph goes from point to point. Also, to help us know a little bit about the line and its direction, negative slopes will always mean the line is going downhill from left to right. And a positive slope will always mean the line is going uphill from left to right. Being a measure of steepness, though, the value is also important, not just positive or negative. If we have a large, big slope, maybe like a 9 or 15, that's kind of a big number for a slope, that's going to be a pretty steep line. Almost, you're, you're thinking climb rock climbing wall, very steep. Versus a small slope, maybe like negative 1 7th, a small fraction, is going to have a very small incline. Maybe like a small hill in the middle of a park. So let's see if we can calculate some slopes. This first example, we've got this graph here. We do see it's going uphill from left to right, so we would expect to end up with a positive answer. And the way we calculate the slope is using this rise over run. We want to know how far up and over we go from one point to the next. So we need to identify a couple points. We can pick any point on the line, just something convenient. You might notice right here at negative 2, 0, the graph goes through a nice pretty point. You also might notice over here at 4, 4, the graph goes through a nice pretty point. So what we're going to do is we're going to move from one point to the next. We're going to do a rise, and then we're going to run over to the point. So we're going to rise up, and then we will run over to the next point. We always have to go in that order, always rise, then run. Well, how far did we rise? One, two, three, four. We rose four, and we ran one, two, three, four, five, six. We ran six. Rise over run, it's a fraction, four over six, which reduces to the fraction two-thirds. The slope of this graph is two-thirds. That means for every two units up, we will go over three units. Notice if we do a rise of two and a run of three, we hit the graph again. We can even go backwards, rise backwards two and backwards three, and we hit the graph again. You'll notice that pattern as we move down the line. For every two up, you will go three over the rise over the run. Let's look at another equation. Here's another line. We might notice it goes through this point over here at negative 3, comma 2. It also goes through another point over here at, what is that, 3, comma, negative 1. So let's calculate the rise over the run. Rising first, notice this time we have to rise down. Because we're going down, that's going to be a negative value. Down 3, negative 3, and then we run over to our point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the rise over the run, negative 3 over 6, just like we would assume it's going downhill, it's going to be a negative slope, and we reduce it to negative 1 half. So that means for every 1 down, it goes over 2. 1 down, over 2, 1 down, over 2, and you notice all the way down this line, even if we go backwards, we'll keep hitting this, the line, down 1, over 2, down 1, over 2. That is our slope, the rise over the run. 